It's time for Eyewitness Sports. The most important part about American Legion Baseball is that you play your way to the top. Uh, there's not another tournament after this. If you lose in this tournament, you just get to go home. And that's what makes this so different. Winning has a significance, and the, 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 the pressure of winning in the American Legion is different than pretty much any other place because, you know, it comes, there comes that point where there is truly only one tournament and only one winner. That's American Legion New York District 5 Chairman Mike Michonne explaining just how high the stakes are in the playoffs. Good evening, I'm David Edelstein. It's win or go home today for eight teams trying to keep their championship dreams alive. Let's take you out to the old RFA field where New Hartford played Smith Post. Pitching duel between New Hartford's Nate Bennett and Smith's Justin Swavely. Top of the first, Swavely pitching, and Ethan Brown fires a bullet. Riley Brody, who places the tag for the out. And then we go to the top of the second. Swavely at bat. Pitch strikes out the batter looking. Top of the third, moving forward. New Hartford threatening with multiple runners in scoring position, but they line out to Brody, who makes the snag and doubles it up by himself. So it was a scoreless through five, but Smith would turn on the bats and wins this one 7 nothing. Smith moves on to play Love tomorrow at either 12 or 5.15 p.m. New Hartford plays the Utica Post tomorrow at either 12 or 5.15 p.m. in the consolation bracket. And Whitestown hosted Adrian at SUNY Polytechnic Institute. Adrian scored one run in the top of the first to take the early lead. Whitestown then nine in the bottom of the first and seven in the bottom of the second to go up 16-1. But bottom of the third, Jake Spina strikes out Dominic Fasalo. And then on to the fifth, Colin McAndrew with backhand snag. Then the throw across the diamond to David Antone for the out. The powerful Whitestown offense was too much for Adrian to handle in this game. So Whitestown wins 16-3 final. Officials actually called the mercy rule after the fifth inning because Whitestown was winning by more than 10 runs. Because Moran beat Cheryl 5-1 today as well. Whitestown moves on to play Moran tomorrow, 5-15 p.m. Meanwhile, Adrian plays Cheryl tomorrow at 5-15 p.m. in the consolation bracket. The still undefeated Whitestown players say now in the playoffs they might be playing their best baseball yet. That's that's where we're best. We we work as a team together and we just we, we do have that chemistry out on the field and I, I think we're loose out there playing baseball and that's what it's all about. Biggest roadblock to state chip is ourselves, I think. I think if if we go out there and play baseball like we do and hit the ball, we're we're gonna be our team to be. Nineteen and we're gonna try to keep going we all year. Just keep it going. If we do what we gotta do, we should take care of business. And then at Murdane Field, Love gets an early out in this one as they're playing pretty good defense. The chomper over and then throwing it over to first base. And then Love still going. That's the second out, so they need to still get the third in order to defend against this strong Utica team. So here they get the out in the outfield to put the inning away. But then Utica gets to one out, but Love works to a full count. Gets the strike out there. Then Utica, the pitcher is still into a hole. But why not strike out the side while you're at it? No problem there. Just brush off the shoulder and get some high fives running back to the dugout. And then on to the bottom of the second, that's where it all happened. Utica gets a walk to start it all off. And then this, hitting over, looks like a routine double play ball, but bobbled and then misplayed. Not able to hold on, so men on first and second. Then Utica draws another walk, loading the bases. So Love, not exactly sure what to do with the meeting on the mound. Just rubbing their heads. Ball gets away, brings in Utica run to open up scoring, and then this one. Dropped ball, brings in two more runs. Utica would wind up scoring four in the inning to take the 4 nothing lead, but Love masters the comeback. 5-4 final score, are you kidding me? Love moves on to play Smith tomorrow at either 12 or 5.15 p.m. Utica plays New Hartford tomorrow at either 12 or 5.15 p.m. in the consolation bracket. And that's all for sports and eyewitness news first at 10. Be sure to check out cnyhomepage.com and click on local sports for your top sports content. I'll be back tomorrow night on Eyewitness News at 6 on WUTR. Back here tomorrow on Eyewitness News first at 10. There's more Eyewitness News after the break, so stay friendly and stay tuned.